Okay guys, so if you have an Xbox and not a PlayStation, and if you don't love God of War and The Last of Us, then you're a piece of shit and you're an Xbox and you have bad taste. Who am I trying to represent here? A retard or a PlayStation fanboy? Well, since there's no difference, either answer will do. PlayStation fanboys are without a single doubt the most annoying and downright pathetic type of fanboy you could see. Console fanboys in general are extremely stupid because the console wars in general are stupid, but when it comes to PlayStation fanboys, I could describe these people in just three simple words. Hypocritical, retarded, and they have nothing but a mouth full of pathetic ass excuses. One of the most annoying thing about PlayStation fanboys, to me at least, and you know, this may vary from other YouTubers who make fun of PlayStation fanboys like Griffin Gaming, etc, etc. But to me, the, the problem with PlayStation fanboys is they have no valid criticisms. If you're going to be a toxic console fanboy, at least come up with some decent criticisms of the console that you're hating on. Because PlayStation fanboys have no actual, factual criticisms. Half of their criticisms are actually just excuses. They're not valid. They're excuses being disguised as actual criticisms by PlayStation fanboys. And I gotta say, <laughs> they're pretty fucking bold for all the shit they say. Like, honestly, if I was a PlayStation fanboy and I was toxic and didn't like Xbox, I would just take the L. And I would just accept the fact that Xbox is doing better than PlayStation at the moment. But instead, these PlayStation fanboys run around talking out of their ass with these stupid ass fake criticisms that are not even real criticisms in the first goddamn place like but seriously like not only are playstation fanboys stupid but they are also pretty goddamn bold i think that's the only prop i can give them they are extremely bold for half the shit they say the fact that they say half of the shit they say in confidence it, i'm not sure if they're just like I, i'm not sure if they don't care about their own image I, I, I don't know, because these PlayStation fanboys run around saying the stupidest shit, and yet they don't stop and think to themselves, hold on a minute, maybe being a fucking idiot in life is going to get me nowhere, maybe I should wake the fuck up and actually act like a mature human being, but no, these PlayStation fanboys run around saying the stupidest shit. And they are literally setting themselves up for stuff like this. This is why my type of videos and other videos trashing these people are around. Because they're literally setting themselves up for these type of videos. They are setting themselves up to be bullied and made fun of because of all the stupid shit they say. Now, like I said, the biggest problem with PlayStation fanboys is their criticisms of Xbox. Because they are not actual criticisms this is one of the most annoying things about playstation fanboys the fact that they have no valid or factual criticisms of xbox and like i said if you want to be a toxic ass console fanboy go right ahead i think it's stupid as fuck but go ahead the least you could do to not only help support the console that you're defending but also for your image come up with some actual valid criticisms playstation fanboys have none okay if you're gonna criticize something without the actual valid criticisms people are going to realize that you are literally making up excuses and they're going to think you're a fucking idiot and that is the biggest problem with playstation fanboys they have no valid criticisms of xbox and if you're wondering why are playstation fanboys the way they are is because xbox being successful makes them mad just the thought alone of xbox or trash box actually being successful and actually doing stuff better than sony it pisses them off and for what well because of course playstation fanboys have a mental illness i already said this in my previous video about playstation fanboys playstation fanboys have something called console fanboy syndrome and if you want to know what this mental illness does or how it afflicts people you can go ahead and watch my previous video which i will leave in the uh description not only that but this series will also be coming to an end very soon i think i'm getting a little tired of milking out this subject i've already made a ton of videos talking about playstation fanboys so this series will be coming to an end soon but back to what i was talking about 
Xbox being successful pisses PlayStation fanboys off, which is funny because they sure know how to brag. They sure know how to brag about what PlayStation does right. Every time PlayStation does something right, they sure know how to brag about it. Look how good PlayStation is doing. Look how many exclusives we have. Look at this. Look what Sony done. Mmm. Sucking that Sony dick. Feels so good. Tastes so good. Look at that, Xbox. Hey, Xbox fanboys, look how good PlayStation is doing. Like, they, they know how to brag about all their shit, but when Xbox starts making moves... Then they turn into salty little assholes. Bro, PlayStation fanboys are like that one little kid from school who gets a super cool toy and brags about it to everyone. But then when another kid gets an even cooler toy than him, then he gets mad and starts whining. That is how I could perfectly describe PlayStation fanboys because that's pretty much what it is. Like, think about it. Every time Xbox does something that is actually good and... What Xbox already has that is good, like Game Pass, it pisses PlayStation fanboys off because they get salty over the fact that Xbox is actually doing good. They get salty over Xbox doing good, but then they brag about everything good that PlayStation does to us Xbox players like we give a shit. Like, I know that people like Griffin Gaming find these PlayStation fanboys to be funny and just like a, a bunch of clowns, but to me, they, they annoy the crap out of me. Like, honestly, they annoy the crap out of me. I recently joined Twitter, and I've noticed something. PlayStation fanboys probably spend more time on Twitter than they do actually playing the games that they're always bragging about in the first place. They're too busy bragging on Twitter about the very games that they don't even spend a lot of time playing because they're too busy bragging about them on Twitter to no one. Like, PlayStation fanboys spend half their time on Twitter shit-talking Xbox with either stupid, invalid criticisms or with stuff that's not even factual. Like, another problem with PlayStation fanboys is th these people literally just run around saying Xbox is trash. Like, these type of PlayStation fanboys are worse than the ones with the fake criticisms and the poor excuses because these motherfuckers just run around saying, oh, Xbox is trash. Yeah, X X Xbox Game Pass, it's trash. I Fuck Xbox, Xbox is trash. If you was to ever ask one of these PlayStation fanboys why Xbox is trash, they're not going to be able to give you a response. The party says they're like, oh, because, you know, Xbox has no games or they won't or they won't say anything at all. They'll just say, no, I, Xbox is trash. Like, I've talked to so many PlayStation fanboys on YouTube and Discord, especially Discord. God, it's even worse than Twitter these days. But some PlayStation fanboys, the, the fact that they could just call Xbox trash and not even give a reason why is, again, why they are as pathetic as they are. If you're going to call something trash... At least give a reason. Give a valid reason why you're calling that something trash. Or else people are going to see that you're just a hating doofus. Like, seriously. If your words are going to come out of your ass instead of your brain. Obviously people are going to realize that you're a fucking retard. But since the brains of most PlayStation fanboys are the same size as their tiny little peepees. Is proof. That... They cannot have actual real criticisms. It's their brains. Their brains are just as small as their tiny little peepees. It's a shame that their brains are not the same size as their big mouths where all that stupid trash talk comes from. Like, ser like seriously, like, do you PlayStation fanboys ever actually have a realization and maybe think to yourself, maybe what I'm saying and acting like is kind of stupid and dumb? Like, usually when people do stupid things... They actually think to themselves, they, they they realize for a second and they take a look back at themselves. They look in the mirror. Although I'm sure if a PlayStation fanboy looked in the mirror, they'd see a fucking fat kid with glasses and a goddamn neck beard looking back at them. Ugh. But usually when, when people do something stupid, they realize that and they stop. But PlayStation fanboys, like, what is wrong with you people? Like, what is wrong with you people? Besides the fact that some PlayStation fanboys can call Xbox trash without any actual reason why. And don't even spend time arguing with those types of PlayStation fanboys. See, there are two types of PlayStation fanboys. There's the ones who get salty and have their fake-ass criticisms, which are, of course, excuses in disguise. Then there's the ones who just call Xbox trash who are talking out their ass because their brains are too fucking small. They're the same size as their tiny little peepees. And that's why all of that trash talk sounds as stupid as it does because their brains are too small. Their brains have shrunken 
to the same size as their tiny little peepees. Which is probably why PlayStation fanboys love PlayStation so much. That's the only thing they have. They're never going to have a girlfriend. They're never going to have a life that actually means something. All you dumbass PlayStation fanboys do is just sit in your little dens, wherever that may be, just trashing Xbox and probably not even spending that much time playing the games from Sony that, according to you, are apparently so good. And now, of course, the excuses. My god. The excuses with PlayStation fanboys are through the absolute roof. One of the stupidest excuses, which is of course a fake criticism from Sony ponies, is Game Pass having too much value and being too cheap. If something is as good as Game Pass and it's cheap, how does that make it a problem? How does that, how does that make it a problem? They they call Game Pass trash because it has too much value and it's too cheap. Okay, I'm sorry it doesn't cost $79.99 for three months or for a year. I'm sorry that Game Pass is only $15 and for you, you get all those games for free. I, I'm sorry that Microsoft doesn't charge more like Sony does. And also, not only that... But Sony has been doing some very anti-consumer moves recently, even before this whole drama with The Last of Us remake. And yes, The Last of Us remake is straight fucking garbage. A good remake would be something like the Resident Evil 2 remake, because the Resident Evil 2 remake was drastically different, and to add on that, an improvement from the original Resident Evil 2 that came out in the 90s. The Last of Us remake, however, is literally the same game with just a fresh coat of paint, but with the same gameplay, and Sony wants to charge you $70 for it. And these dumbass PlayStation fanboys will defend that. Like, PlayStation fanboys are not only trash, but they're also so goddamn cliche. They love everything PlayStation does. They hate everything Xbox does. Like, you guys are not even clever. You guys are literally the equivalent of just a standard console fanboy. And like I was saying, Sony is doing some very anti-consumer moves and Sony ponies will defend it. It's funny how you PlayStation fanboys feel so comfortable and think you're so cool for hating on Xbox, but then when the tables are turned on your asses and people start hating on Sony and PlayStation, you go into full damage control mode. Mm, gotta defend PlayStation, PlayStation's the best. If no one sucks Sony's dick, and if they suck Microsoft's dick or anyone else's dick, then they're not good. Only Sony's dick can have theirs melted. Like, can you PlayStation fanboys get any stupider? Legitimate question. Like, can you PlayStation fanboys get any stupider? I understand that you guys are going to mentally regress every day, but, like, can you guys save yourself? If not for me and for the people that you're constantly annoying... At least for yourself. Think about your family. Think about your self-imagery. Do you care about the fact that everyone else thinks that you people are fucking clowns? Everywhere you guys go, you bring a circus along with you with Sony and PlayStation's flag on it. As if anyone gives a fucking shit. And as I was saying, if Sony keeps getting away with these anti-consumer moves because their stupid delusional fanboys defend them, Sony is going to fail. Unlike Griffin Gaming, I am actually smart enough to know that PlayStation fanboys are more than just annoying, they are an actual threat. Because if they keep defending Sony with their anti-consumer movements, then Sony is going to keep getting worse. This is how a company becomes scummy. Because if a company does bad moves and things that should be criticized by their fans, they stop doing those anti-consumer and greedy things and those tactics. But since PlayStation fanboys defend Sony in their greedy and scummy tactics, Sony will see that they can get away with it. You PlayStation fanboys are ruining your own fucking company. You are ruining Sony and you are ruining PlayStation. And for one, I actually like PlayStation. I am not a console fanboy. If Microsoft was doing half of the scummy shit that Sony was doing, I would have more than five rant videos out by now. Because I actually like video games. I love video games. Video games is something I am very passionate about. If it wasn't for video games, I would have probably gone insane by now. I'm sorry for the raging, but 
PlayStation fanboys are not even real gamers. They're not even real gamers because if they were, they wouldn't be fighting over the consoles that do 99% of the same shit. <sighs> gotta take a breather. I gotta drink something. See, look what your fucking Sony ponies do to me. Look what you do to me. I already have a mental illness. I don't have time to be focusing on all this goddamn negativity, but you motherfuckers forced my hand. You forced my hand when you invaded my Twitter page and fucking insulted me. <sighs> okay. Calm down. Calm down, Mr. Rage. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <sighs> so as I was saying, the excuses. Fun fact. If you was to come face to face with a PlayStation fanboy, whether face to face or on the internet, half of the shit that is going to come out of their mouth is probably not going to be anything factual or anything that actually makes a valid criticism of Xbox. You all want a valid criticism of Xbox? Here you go. Xbox has shit games and their enforcement system sucks. There is a valid criticism of Xbox. The only criticisms you will ever hear from PlayStation fanboys, which of course, like I've already said a million times, are not actual criticisms in the first place. They are excuses. Another one of my favorite excuses is Game Pass is overrated. Game Pass has saved people hundreds of dollars. We are living in a world where money needs to be used to put food on the table and to pay rent if you are in that type of situation. So you can't really go around spending hundreds of dollars on video games these days. But because of Game Pass, people no longer have to worry about that. That is a serious problem that is now eliminated because of Game Pass. And I'm not trying to sound like an Xbox fanboy here, but Game Pass is amazing, okay? You can't say it's not. Y'all love Netflix because it gives you access to movies, well, Game Pass is the same thing, but it gives you access to video games. And that's why it's so good for real gamers. People who actually spend more of their time playing video games than fighting over the consoles that do that very thing. That's why Game Pass is so good. And that's why Xbox players are the true gamers. And that's why true gamers are the ones who actually love video games instead of fighting about the consoles that those games are played on. And that is again why console fanboys in general are the biggest fucking retards in modern society. They are proof that modern society is crumbling, falling apart like fucking blocks. <sighs> the fact that you PlayStation fanboys get mad over Xbox being successful, but you sure as hell know to brag about Sony being successful and Sony having good stuff and Sony doing the right shit, which they're not even doing, but then you get salty over Xbox doing good. Think about that for a minute. PlayStation fanboys are literally entitled man-children. The way they act, the way they think, the shit they say, the excuses they say. How can you even live a life like that? Do you have no care for your self-imagery? Do you have a lack of self-respect? How can you make yourself sound like such a fucking retard and do it willingly? God damn, you people fucking disgust me. Fuck. I... I'm about to go. I'm about to go live it right now. I am about to. Go, I'm about to fucking go live it right now. You PlayStation fanboys are gonna pay one day. You fucking fanboys are all going to pay one day when Sony starts losing money because you dumbasses keep defending them for doing these greedy, scummy ass tactics. Then you'll fucking wake up and you should have realized that being a fucking idiot in life was going to get you nowhere. And then you are going to lose the only thing you have left, which is of course. PlayStation, and that's just sad in general, okay? If your life literally depends on video games, you're fucking sad. Yes, I just said I love video games and I'm very passionate about it, but video games to me is a hobby. A fun hobby. Nothing more than that, and it's never going to be anything more than that, okay? No hobby is like that, unless that hobby directly ties to what you do in actual life. You see? Outside. Not over here on a fucking screen and a console. <sighs> And of course, the hypocrisy, the absolute hypocrisy. Remember how mad Sony ponies got over Microsoft buying Bethesda? 
Remember how insane they went when Microsoft brought Call of Duty? If Sony was to do that very same move, Sony ponies would be bragging again like they usually do when PlayStation does something good. They'd be bragging to Xbox fanboys and Xbox and just people in general and talking about how trash Xbox is. Xbox is trash. Look look how good Sony's doing. Look look how good Sony's doing. Sony's got more cum coming out of their dick for us to suck out. But since Xbox done the move, they get salty. And not only that, but whatever game developer Microsoft manages to buy... Sony ponies will call all of those games trash. An example, the next Doom or the next Fallout or Wolfenstein, whichever one of those games comes out next, you do realize it's going to be exclusive to Xbox. And this is where the excuses come from. Sony phonies will say that those games are trash without even playing those games in the first place or without even looking at reviews or anything or looking at reviews from the general public. This is, again, where the excuses come from. And it won't just be games from developers that microsoft buys but again god damn the excuses it, i've already said this before if you are going to criticize something without any actual valid or factual criticisms that actually make sense and seem like more of a personal opinion but seem more like just a blatant excuse Obviously, people are going to see you as nothing more but a fucking clown. And that is everything a Sony phony has. They have nothing but excuses. They have no valid criticisms. They have excuses. They have a brain that is the size of their tiny little pee-pee. And they don't matter. If you fucking Sony ponies want to stay in whatever den that, you, that you're unfortunate enough to live in, talking to each other about how bad Xbox is. Like, if you guys want to hate on Xbox with your fellow PlayStation fanboy buddies, be my guest. But if you're going to spread your stupidity outside of your stupid little den to people who don't want to hear it and to people who are going to laugh at you because of how stupid you are, you done this shit to yourself. I make these videos because you fucking Sony ponies forced me to. And again, the excuses... You will never hear a valid criticism come out of a PlayStation fanboy's mouth. It's impossible because their brains are too small for that. They're too fucking dumb for that. So that is why all a PlayStation fanboy has are excuses. Because since their, since their words and their thoughts come out of their asses, since their brains are too small to process that shit, that's why you only hear stupid and retarded dialogue come out of a PlayStation fanboy's mouth. And again, with the hypocrisy, PlayStation fanboys criticize everything Xbox does, but if Sony was to do those same moves as Xbox, Sony ponies will praise it. And back to the shit that Sony has been doing, not only has Sony been doing very anti-consumer things that threaten the gaming industry, but Sony is also responsible for a hell of a lot of censorship. I'm not sure if I already said this, but Sony censored a horror game called Marta's Dead for a very stupid reason, and of course, Sony fanboys defended it. It's called damage control. When people who are not Sony phonies or ponies criticize Sony and PlayStation for doing incredibly stupid shit, even when they defend PlayStation, Sony phonies have nothing but excuses. Not only do they have valid criticisms for Xbox, but they don't even have valid defenses when PlayStation is doing something bad. They can't even defend their own company, their own console, without making dumbass excuses. The excuse that some PlayStation fanboys had for Marta's Dead is yes, Sony was right for censoring it because it was too disturbing. You do realize that if Xbox done something like that, Sony ponies will be saying the same shit to Xbox that I'm saying to PlayStation. It was a stupid and uncalled for move. It was a horror game for Christ's sake. Horror games are supposed to be disturbing. PlayStation fanboys, you guys have nothing but stupid ass excuses. And you guys spend half the time talking out of your asses. That's all you do. And the fact that you do this willingly makes me really fucking sad. I highly recommend you assholes wake the fuck up. Because unless you want to be known as delusional, toxic-ass clowns all your life, I would recommend you wake up and start realizing that being a fucking idiot in life 
is not only going to get you nowhere, but it's going to get you to a place that is not going to be very good for you. Do you Sony ponies even have jobs? Well, I know that one had a job. I heard this story about this one Sony fanboy who was a doctor and he stopped working on one of his patients because he got into an argument on Twitter. Fuck all of you! Now, a little bit of praise for Game Pass. Game Pass has saved people hundreds of dollars. The fact that PlayStation fanboys still say that Game Pass is trash, even though Sony is charging people $70 for shitty remasters and games that you already brought on the previous PlayStation console, but now Sony's asking you to buy it again because it looks slightly better and has slightly better frame rates for $70, and yet these dumbass Sony ponies say that Game Pass is trash for actually giving you value and for actually being good for the consumer and for people who don't have enough money to buy video games every month. For people who actually have to put food on the table for their family, Game Pass has saved them. And you PlayStation fanboys still call it trash. And that is why PlayStation fanboys are the cancer of the gaming community. They are nothing but completely dumb fucking maggots. So my message for you PlayStation fanboys, you all could go fuck yourself. Fuck your Spider-Man, fuck your God of War. No one gives two shits about it. No one gives two shits. You criticize Xbox in your free time and you criticize Xbox willingly thinking it's all cool. You, I bet, I bet these PlayStation fanboys love to get together in a group, go on Twitter and talk to each other about how bad Xbox is. But the minute people start criticizing PlayStation, then again, all you have is nothing but excuses. And then you realize what it feels like. You realize what us Xbox players feel like when you hate on our console for no reason. Well, how do you like it when we hit on your console for no reason? End the console wars, ladies and gentlemen. It's a stupid, stupid thing. End this stupid console war. It's fucking useless. And no shout outs today for this video. The only shout out goes to me, Mr. Motherfucking Rage, the angriest motherfucker on this earth, here to expose and destroy. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching this video. If you stuck by, I appreciate you for watching. You're a true OG. And I thank you for actually listening to what I have to say. Sorry about the raging. If you're a true gamer, you respect all. You respect all consoles. Because if you're a true gamer, you actually love video games. And you will love the consoles because that's how you play those video games in the first place. If you're a true gamer, you would have that mindset. Don't be like, don't be like console fanboys. Or Sony ponies. Or Xbox. Anyways... I'll see you guys later. This is Mr. Rage 22 signing off. I'll see you bitches later.